Hi ladies, today is May 7th <clears throat> and we are on pages 18, 19, and 20 today in your packet. Um, it is week five, day four. <clears throat> and our learning target today, continuing with our um, conversion of different measurements, is I can convert customary units of weight. So today we're going to be talking about tons. Um, so think of like an elephant, um, pounds, um, think of a, like a person, and then um, ounces is going to be like those really small um, items. <clears throat> so again, you have your conversion chart here from ounces to tons, um, following those arrows from um, one unit to another um, in order to solve. All right. <clears throat> so on number one, it says, would it be best to measure the weight of an egg in tons, pounds, or ounces? Um, so this is thinking kind of about um, what a ton, a pound, and an ounce might um, be used to measure. So like I was saying before, a ton is going to be that really, really um, heavy weight. So um, think about cars or large animals, such as an elephant. Um, those are going to be something that you would measure in tons. Um, pounds is going to be, um, you know, maybe a small chair or um, a human or a dog. <clears throat> those are going to be those pounds. Um, and then ounces is going to be something smaller. Um, think about maybe a hairbrush or a coffee mug, um, something that's really small. Um, so an egg is very small. Think about how many um, eggs it would um, it would require to equal a pound. Probably a lot. Um, so for an egg, <clears throat> we would want to use ounces because the other units are too large. So. These just wouldn't be able to measure that egg's weight because they are just way too big. Um, what other or what types of tools do people select to measure weight? So if we wanted to weigh ourselves, um, you might use a scale like at the doctor's office. Um, <clears throat> another that you might be able to use is like a balance. Um, think about like maybe in science class, um, you have kind of that balance scale. It kind of looks like a teeter-totter. You put items on each side, and um, if you put more items on one side, um, it's gonna go down and the other side will go up. So a balance scale <clears throat> um, might be something else that you might be able to use um, to measure weight. All right, so <clears throat> on number three, we are going to be using that conversion chart to help us solve. Um, so it says 2,000 pounds equals how many tons? Um, so let's take a look at <clears throat> take a look at our chart. Um, 2,000 pounds is how many tons? So we're going to be looking at this pound section. <clears throat> looking at this pound section. So if I have 2,000 pounds we want to know how many tons that is. So we're going from pounds to tons. Okay, so we're going to divide that because we're going from here to here. So we're going to divide by 2,000. So if we're looking at this, we know that one ton is the same as 2,000 pounds. So if I take 2,000 pounds and divide it by 2,000, it's going to give me one ton. So my answer for number three is going to be one. So take a look at number four. All right, so looking at number four, we have 48 ounces and we're going to pounds. Go ahead and make this a double page. All right, so we have 48 ounces and we're going to pounds. Um, so we wanna start here with that 48 ounces. 
And then we're going from ounces to pounds, which means we're going to divide by 16. Um, so I would go ahead and set that up. So 48 divided by 16. And when I do 48 divided by 16, I get three, oops, I get three pounds. So on number four, our answer is three. Number five, I have 6,500 pounds. And I'm going from pounds to tons. So I have 6,500 pounds and I'm going to divide by 2,000 to equal how many tons that is. So you'll notice that 2,000 is definitely not going to go into 6,500 evenly. So this answer is going to have a fraction because we only have one line for tons. Um, so think about how many times that 2 um, can go into 6. Okay, so 2,000 into 6,500. So we counted by twos, two, four, six. Um, it's going to go in evenly three times, which gives us 500 out of 2,000 left over. Um, so I want you to think about um, 500 out of 2,000 and how many times 500 can go into 2,000. So 500, 1,000, 500, 2,000 is going to be four times. So if we divided by 500, it would give us um, 500 divided by 500 is 1. 2,000 divided by 500 is 4. So 3 and 1 fourth ton is going to be our answer. Number 6, we have 1 half pound, and we want to know how many ounces that is. So half of a pound, so we're here in pounds, and we're going from pounds to ounces. So 1 half pound times 16, so we're going to make that into a fraction by putting it over 1. 1 times 16 is 16. 2 times 1 is 2. If we do division, 2 goes into 16 8 times, which means a half a pound is 8 ounces. Um, on number 7 and 8, this is where we have to convert measurements, so we want to convert the bigger unit to the smaller unit. So we have 2 tons, um, to pounds. So what we're going to do is we're going to turn this two tons into pounds. So two tons, we're going to multiply that by 2,000 to turn the two tons into pounds, which is going to give me 4,000. And we're going to compare 45,000 and 4,000. Well, I know that 45,000 is going to be a lot bigger, so I want to eat that number. And then we're going to do the same thing with pounds and ounces. So I have four pounds and I have 64 ounces. So I want to turn my pounds because pounds is bigger than ounces. I'm going to take my four pounds. I'm going to multiply that by 16 to turn it into ounces because my smaller unit is ounces. So when I take four times 16, so you can set that up and take four times 16. If you're not ready, you can go ahead and pause. But 4 times 16 is 64, which means that 4 pounds is 64 ounces, so these two are equal. All right, so for 9 through 14, you're going to be doing the exact same thing we did up here on numbers 3 through 6, using that conversion chart. Numbers 15 through 17, you're going to be converting the bigger unit to the smaller unit and then comparing um, to see which one's greater than, less than, or if they are equal. Um, and then numbers 18 and 19, you're gonna turn your pounds um, into ounces or your ounces into pounds. So these are gonna go together. And that's the same thing here. You're gonna do tons and pounds. Um, so if you have your tons, you're gonna turn it into pounds. If you have your pounds, you're gonna turn it into tons. So you're just going to be going back and forth between these two and then on this one between pounds and ounces this way. All right, so once you've completed this assignment as well as um, page, tw um, page 20 in your packet, which is your 12.3 review. Um, so this one um, just is kind of a quick review. It has six questions um, that are going over things that you've learned so far this year. Um, and then when you are completely finished, you're gonna go to pearsonrealize.com and complete 5720 Quick Check, 
which is your assessment for today. Make sure that you have your conversion chart handy um, when it is time for you to go on Pearson Realize because this is going to be very helpful for you um, when you are doing those five questions. Um, remember, in order for you to get your daily points, you have to complete that assessment portion on Pearson Realize so I know um, what you're doing and how you're doing. Um, and as always, if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out.